Ewan McGregor, who's famous for playing the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi in his own standalone Star Wars series, as well as the prequel trilogy, is now resorting to begging fans to write to Disney in order to try to get them to renew his show for a second season. But despite all this, I don't think the people over at Disney actually want to continue with an Obi-Wan Kenobi series, but I'll get more on that in a moment. First, let's look at this article from Bounding in the Comics talking about it and saying what it's actually going on. In making a request that perhaps only he and seven other Disney Star Wars fans truly want to see fulfilled, Obi-Wan Kenobi has asked audiences to write to Disney in order to petition them for a second season of the Disney Plus series. Obviously, this article is being a little bit funny with the way they're saying it's only Ewan McGregor and about seven other Star Wars fans that want to see an extra season of Obi-Wan. But still, the fact of the matter is this show didn't land the way that Lucasfilm and Disney Star Wars were actually hoping it would land. And yet there's other Star Wars shows on Disney Plus platform that are being renewed for a second season that didn't do nearly as good as this. But let's continue with this article. The longtime franchise star made his plea during a February 3rd panel appearance at Megacon Orlando. This is pretty pathetic if you ask me because people just aren't interested in seeing the continuation of the Obi-Wan Kenobi character, especially not in the hands of Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, I can understand from his perspective, being an actor who's played this character from the last quarter century, that he has a certain affinity for it and he wants to continue playing this character. That's fine, but you need to understand when to bow out with dignity and begging the fans to continue on with the show just isn't going to work, especially when you consider there's really not a huge fan base for this particular show. You can even look at the ratings for it and yeah, 2.14 million viewers for the first episode of this is not too bad, but the show didn't do too well, all things considered. Yet there are other shows for the Star Wars universe that are actually getting a continuation that didn't do nearly as well as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and that is the new Ahsoka show. You can see Ahsoka got 1.2 million viewers for the first episode according to Samba TV, so nearly half of what Obi-Wan Kenobi got, yet this is actually getting a second season. And it's not like Ahsoka had a worse start than Obi-Wan, but it finished stronger or anything like that, because you can even compare the numbers for the series finale for each respective show, and you can see Obi-Wan still did better than Ahsoka in that category too. We got this article from Deadline talking about the series finale for Obi-Wan, and this is what it has to say as far as the viewership numbers go. So Obi-Wan Kenobi drew a five day Wednesday through Sunday audience of 1.8 million. So a pretty big drop off from the first episode, but still 1.8 million viewers for the final episode. Now, when you compare that to what Ahsoka actually got for its final episode, it's still not too good because you can scroll down this article right here from Screen Rant. 863,000 viewers for the final episode of Ahsoka. So both series actually had pretty significant drop-offs in viewerships from the first episode to the last episode, but even at its best, Ahsoka still wasn't able to actually match the viewerships that Obi-Wan was able to get at its worst. And it's not like you can say that the ratings for Ahsoka were just so much better or it was just so much better received than it was for Obi-Wan because I got the Rotten Tomato score pulled up for both shows and you can see Ahsoka had a 69% for audiences and an 86% for critics. So just kind of a mediocre show, all things considered. But then you can compare that to Obi-Wan. And while it is a little bit better because Obi-Wan has an 82% for critics and 62% for audiences, I don't think the difference is really that significant, or at least not significant enough to justify why one show gets a second season and the other show does not. And I think a lot of this just has to do with the fact that people over at Lucasfilm right now are trying to move away from the George Lucas Star Wars and into something new, especially when you got Dave Filoni actually heading up the creative aspect of Lucasfilm. And let's not forget, Ahsoka was his creation, even though he created it while George Lucas was, was still in charge of Lucasfilm. It's still his character, his creation, his baby. And he wants to continue on with that as long as possible. And now that he actually has a say in it, yes, he is going to continue on with it versus Obi-Wan Kenobi that was George Lucas's creation and one thing that we can take away from the whole Disney Star Wars era is that they have no respect for George Lucas or his creation they just basically want to take his IP and run with it what they can and that's what Dave Filoni and Kathleen Kennedy are actually doing with the future of Star Wars when they're basically hinging everything around Ahsoka and the Mandalorian basically original creations to the Disney Star Wars universe the last thing they want to do is to continue on with something that George Lucas created because that distracts attention with the things that Kathleen Kennedy created or Dave Filoni created because they don't want to have those comparisons or whatever people are saying like, oh yeah, I liked Obi-Wan, but I don't like the new season of Ahsoka or anything like that. Everything just has to be 
strictly focused on their own original creation. And that's why we're going to see everything like that moving forward. And if you are one of those Disney Star Wars fans who's hung on this long and are going to actually write to Disney in order to try to convince them to get another season of Obi-Wan, well, then at best, they're just going to ignore you. And at worst, they're going to label you an instant foe because that's what Disney Star Wars does to any criticism, even legitimate criticism. They just try to dismiss it and rally people against it, get their allies in the media or even some of the media outlets that they actually own write hit pieces on anyone criticizing anything that they did so that people just feel free to just ignore it. But they've been doing this for so long that I'm feeling like no one cares anymore. So they might try that or they might not, but either way, they're not going to listen to the fans because they've shown us time and time again that they don't care what the fans actually think. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button and share the video because it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment news. Thank you.